Siemens QFM 2160 Use an air ducts of ventilation and air conditioning plant for acquiring the relative humidity and temperature. How it works? Let's find out. Siemens temperature and humidity duct sensor is used for sensing the air temperature and relative humidity inside the duct. The duct sensor is designed to be mounted directly to a duct with the probe in the airflow. The sensor acquires the temperature and relative humidity in the air duct via its capacitive sensing element, whose electrical capacitance changes as a function of the temperature and relative humidity. Let's take a little closer, to find out how this sensor works. This is Siemens QFM2160. There are two section, the sensor head and the probe. Sensor probe length is approximately 150 mm for the mounting flange. At the end of the probe sensor, there was a filter cap. Inside this filter cap is where the sensing element was located. Inside the sensor head was a circuit board. The electronic measuring circuit converts the sensor's signal to a continuous DC 0 to 10 volts, or 4 to 20 milliamp signal, which corresponds to temperature and relative humidity value. This part is where terminal blocks located. This terminal block is for the sensing element, and the other terminal block is for the power supply input and signal output. G and G0 is terminal for operating voltage. U1 is for humidity signal output. And U2 is for temperature signal output. OK, let's put a supply voltage to the sensor, and connect the temperature signal output to a multimeter. We have a 4.5 volts signal output came from the sensor. Let's close the end of the sensor probe, and see what will happen. As you can see, voltage value rises. Depending on sensor resistance, 0 to 10 volts signal output will be converted corresponding to a temperature range via an automation module controller. Let's see this one, by using PXM20 device, we can see the converted voltage signal came from the sensor. Temperature high alarm activated at 30 degrees centigrade with an equivalent of 9.32 voltage signal. The measuring current of systems or devices for acquiring the electrical resistance of the passive sensor, differs greatly and impacts self-heating of the temperature sensing element at the end of the measuring tip. To compensate the impact, the passive output signal is simulated with an electronic circuit. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Every time you hit a like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded. Thank you very much and have a good day.